you do have this nice little like flower effect, which honestly looks really freaking sweet if you ask me. You see the nice little splash effect of it? Nice. Would you still care to talk to me? So well, what's up guys? It's here here by any new and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, and Warzone 2. In today's video, we got a special Tracer Pack bundle for you guys to see, and that's known as the Tracer Pack Golden Blossom Bundle. And this actually comes with three elegant tracer blueprints with death effects and laser effects. Comes with blossom tracers apparently, and gold blossom death effect, and it looks like to be a TAC blueprint, an MCPR, so a sniper blueprint, and the X-13. And it's only for 2,000 COD points when usually we get bundles with 2,400 COD points. I guess because it doesn't come with an operator or whatever the case is. But yeah, if you guys are excited to see this bundle in full, see how camels look like on the gun, see how the traces look like, and anything secretive about this bundle that you should know, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. I tend to upload a bunch of bundles on this channel, you know, including Tracer Blueprints, Reactors Mastercrafts, if those ever come out, Weapon Vaults if they ever come out, or just bundles that I find intriguing. So if that sounds good to you, you, or if you like Warzone 2 gameplays or news and update videos every so often that I upload on the channel, then or my personality, then go ahead and subscribe. You found the right channel. I just appreciate you for giving me a little bit of your time. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check what this bundle is all about. So first off, we've got the TAC M, I wish it was a TAC 56, tracer blueprint of the fluorescence. And this comes with orange slash cherry blossom tracers and the gold blossom death effect. And uh, previewing it, we can see that it doesn't come with an ammunition, so you won't be able to put any traces on any other weaponry, unfortunately, which would have been pretty cool. But uh, overall in design, I mean, this looks really freaking nice. Uh, it's got, you know, golden blossoms on the gun, and I think it overall looks kind of sweet. A little bit simple, kind of wish it was a little bit more like orange and reddish and whitish, but... I, I dig this vibe. Next up, we've got a sniper tracer. I think this is our second sniper tracer for the MCPR 300, known as the Super Bloom. It also comes with orange blossom tracers on the gold blossom death effect. And uh, once again, attachment wise, it doesn't come with any ammunition, so you won't be able to put any of these tracers on other weaponry. And it comes with a decent class, it looks like, but uh, yeah, pretty much has the same design as the Tech M there. And I, I like the all the flowers and everything. It even says handmade in Japan custom collection i'm imagining the it said that on the tag 56 as well but if anybody knows what any of these uh japanese lettering says definitely let me know in the comment section below i would like to know and finally for our third tracer gun we got the x13 auto pistol known as the floral axis i like how they call it a small and mighty tracer weapon and it comes also with the orange cherry blossom tracers and the gold blossom death effect and once again attachment wise it doesn't come with an ammunition that would have been useful to put on other guns so you're only going to be getting tr three tracer guns with this bundle unfortunately you won't be able to add tracers on any other weaponry and it all shares the same design as the tac m and the mcpr 300 and yeah i just love the way uh you know this this just looks in my in my eyes anyways but yeah pretty pretty clean tracer guns in my opinion it also comes with the weapon sticker of the monarch and the loading screen known as cod heroes you know they'd be watching the hero channel but, I mean, these are Call of Duty heroes as well. Bro, that's like the OG ghost right there, I think, from MW2. Holy crap. Anyways, um, from the original MW2. But, yeah, 2,000 COD points for just three Tracer guns and a couple of things. Might be a W, might be an L. I'm going to cop it anyways, just so you guys know what this bundle's all about. Uh, these aren't guns that people usually use, so it's kind of an L. But if you're a fan of the TAC M, fan of the MP MCPR, or a fan of the X-13 Auto, which this might be the more likely gun... Uh, then I guess this bundle is worth it. But otherwise, I don't see it as worth it. Maybe the tracer will make up for that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see how camels look like on these guns, tracers, and keep it moving. So here we are with the TAC M and the MCPR 300. And I have the X13 in another class. But let's go ahead and check these guns out. So uh, here's the default attachments. And let's see how these guns look like with camos. So camo-wise, these are, are how the base camos look like. They kind of take away the whole just design of the weapon, which kind of sucks. Here's how gold looks like. Here's how Platinum looks like, here's how Polyatomic looks like, and here's how Orion looks like. So you don't really get anything much out of, you know, this freaking blueprint. Yeah, like if you put on a lot of these, uh, these camos, they pretty much take everything away. There's no point in putting a camo on this weapon because you will not retain anything, which is uh, kind of sucky. I mean, you could run the Bowing Blossoms and the Winds of Ash, you know, just to kind of go along with it, but it's kind of... 
uh, useless at that point. So really bad with camos. Do not put camos on this gun unless you don't care about the original design. Now when it comes to the MCPR 300 Super Bloom, let's see how it looks like with camos here. Here's how the base camos look like. It actually does retain the flowers. Here's how gold looks like. Here's how platinum looks like. Here's how polyatomic looks like. It actually looks really nice on this weapon because you see the pink blossoms and they go well with the animated polyatomic. And then we also have Orion where the blossoms actually look really nice with Orion. And especially because Orion moves a little bit faster now, it actually like probably looks the best. So Orion is definitely a W on the MCPR here. When it comes to the yellow uh, fun camo here, you do see the blossoms, but it doesn't really contrast well in my opinion. And then when it comes to the solid color camos, you could do a lot of great things with the blossoms. Definitely put camos on this gun. It's gonna look way better with the design. It, it, it even shows on the CDL camos, which is actually kind of kind of beautiful if you ask me. Uh, the classic, oh no, not classic, but the event camos looks really great with bowing blossoms. It looks really beautiful Winds of Ash. This is definitely one where you want to run the uh, the event camels on. I think that's all that matters here. Now, when it comes to the Floral Axis X13 Auto, uh, you know, freaking blueprint here. Here's how it looks like with camels. Uh, cam you, the, the flowers also show with the base camels. It, here's gold. Here's platinum. Here's polyatomic. It's a little bit harder to see the flowers because they're a little bit more pinkish with this one. Whereas with the MCPR, they were kind of like red slash goldenish. But at least they do show up in both Orion and polyatomic, which I think is pretty sweet. When it comes to all the camos, uh, here's how it looks like with the yellow. It looks really great with the, the yellow fun camo, the speckled camo. Here's how it looks like with solid color camos. It looks absolutely freaking gorgeous and beautiful if you ask me. When it comes to the CDL camos, they show, but I don't think they contrast real well with the CDL camos. And then when it comes to the Bowing Blossoms and Winds of Ash camo, it looks really great with Winds of Ash. Not so much as Bowing Blossom, but Winds of Ash looks beautiful. And uh, yeah, this is that. The X13 and the MCPR are really great with camo. So yeah, that's pretty sweet to know. And now we're gonna see how the guns look like with their meta attachments and see if they lo lose any of their original design. So when it comes to the TAC cam, here are the default attachments for the fluorescent blueprint. And here are the meta attachments for the fluorescence TAC M. And it actually retains most of its design. You pretty much don't lose anything with my meta class setup and you still keep the flowers and the traces, of course. Remember, you can keep the traces on these guns as long as you don't mess with the ammunition. As long as you change every other attachment except for ammunition, you'll still keep traces. So good looking on the fluorescence. Here's the default attachments for the MCPR 300 Super Blue. And here are the meta attachments for the MCPR 300 Super Bloom. And it still pretty much retains its design. You might lose some within the stock and the rear grip and stuff, but honestly, the gun still looks great. Plus, if you wanted to, you could put on a solid color camo and the flowers would really show like we showed earlier. Here's the default attachments for the X13 Auto Floral Axis Blueprint. And here are the meta attachments for the X13 Auto Floral Axis Blueprint. And honestly, it still looks amazing. You only use, lo really lose the stock and the rear grip, but otherwise the gun still looks great. And once again, you can put solid color camos to make this gun even look even better. So honestly, W bundle, it just sucks that the guns that come within the bundle aren't really like meta guns or guns you would typically use. But yeah, to end things off, let's go ahead and head into a game, see how the traces look like in game, and then that should be the video. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the Tech M Fluorescence, and it looks absolutely freaking beautiful, as you can see, with its golden blossom look. Actually looks beautiful, especially with the Shredder Claws as well. Actually, let me look at the Iron Sight real quick. Ooh, okay, so when you have the Canted Laser Sight, you do have this nice little, like, flower effect, which honestly looks really freaking sweet, if you ask me. The nice little flower. I wish it was for a different Laser Sight, though. It's kind of an L Laser Sight. And here is the Super Bloom MCPR 300 Sniper Rifle Tracer Blueprint, which looks really freaking beautiful actually in detail as well. And it's got the same sort of uh, laser effect, which I personally kind of like. It just sucks that it's for a trash uh, laser in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let's see how it looks like with the tracers. Oh my God. It actually shoots freaking flowers, bruh. Yeah, so if you love flowers, man, there you go. You got yourself some flower tracers. Is it the same case with this? Yeah. You got all the flowers you've ever wanted with uh, with these tracer guns. So if you didn't get any flowers for Valentine's Day, or if you didn't give any flowers, we got some right there. Okay, let's see how these uh, traces look like on enemies. Wow. 
So they legit get bodied in a golden tracer flurry. You can see on his uh, face, like legit it was a golden tracer. And you saw the golden flower petals. I'm about to see that like in slow-mo low key. Okay, let's see how it looks like once again with, but this time with the tag M. Oh, snap, you, get, you see the nice little splash effect of it? Nice. So legit is golden tracers. And then the impact is uh, the blossoms, basically. And then they turn golden when they kind of like attack with the enemy. It's kind of gruesome if you think about it. It's pretty wild. And now here we have the X13 auto uh, freaking floral axes blueprint. And it looks really great as well. And it doesn't come with a, uh, a cool freaking laser effect, unfortunately, which is kind of stinky in my opinion. Yeah, it sucks that it doesn't come with the, the laser, but you also get the flower effect on this gun as well, which I think is honestly pretty sweet. I like this flower effect a lot. It's, it's exactly like the one from MW19, which I think is dope. And let's see how the traces look like on this floor. And there you go. Nice little freaking floral effect. And uh, he is sprayed with a bunch of freaking gold. <laughs> you become very golden with this gun. And let's just see how the splatter effect looks like on the wall. Oh yeah, so you see little flowers kind of pop up on the on the wall uh, when you body them near you know a wall basically. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this freaking uh, tracer bundle. Uh, pretty much, it's only a W if you use any of these guns consistently. Like the MCPR, if you're a sniper and you love this gun, which is a pretty good sniper. Uh, you, it's a W for you if you love the X13 Auto. It's a W for you if you love the Tac M. Otherwise, there's nothing much else to this bundle. It is only 2,000 COD points and you get three Tracer guns, but there's a small chance that you use all three of these guns consistently. So that's up, you know, for you guys to decide. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and new channel, post notifications. I appreciate all the love and support as always. Uh, we've got no more Tracer bundles, I believe, until season three. But don't worry, I've got some fire freaking wars on two videos to get for you guys to see uh, that I got in. And sorry if I don't reply to comments, you know, every so often I try to heart and reply to every comment that I can since I've been so busy, especially with my main channels, you guys know. But uh, I appreciate the love and support. Anyways, until next time, let me know what you guys think about this bundle in the comment section below and keep being big ballers. I love you all. I'm in love.